Welcome back to the 215 here on the grounds of Andalusia. And I'm going to take you inside in just a little bit. But first, this story. You know, a 10-year stint in prison would break about any of us. It's, it would me. But the man you're about to meet, he found his passion in prison. Sergio Cruel has the story of Jimmy the Saint. So I'm here at the Commodore Barry Club in Mount Airy. I'm about to go inside and talk to my man, Jimmy the Saint. This guy has an amazing story. He's a writer, producer, director. He does award shows. His story is going to inspire so many people. I was uh, arrested by the FBI, first time federal drug offender, incarcerated for 10 years. While I was incarcerated, I just started writing books. I wound up becoming one of the first few federal inmates to get a uh, three-book publishing deal while incarcerated. I already got over 25 published novels out right now. Talk to me about how that whole thing came about. I wrote a few manuscripts and I sent it out to a company out in New York, and they just offered me a book deal. That was the start of the whole Jimmy the Saint. After watching the BET Awards one day, I said, I could do this in Philly. We have so many artists, so many dope, talented musicians right here in our city. These artists that's working on their craft, I wanted to get them early and do an award show that's going to support these artists before they blow up. Ten successful years of the Philly Hip Hop Awards, me and my partner Plex, you know what I mean? Um, and we've just been doing our thing. Philly Hip Hop Awards, man, let's get it. I never seen you moving the way you move. I never seen you acting the way you act, man. I wanted to put something together, the Philly Urban Film Awards. It was the first annual this year. I'm here to support for being nominated for uh, Please Don't Touch Me Dear, my book, and also for the play Ain't No Sunshine. Just to be nominated for such an event and the first, it feels amazing. It was a sellout. It was, you know, all the directors, actors, musicians, all in one building. I really want to, like, give the voiceless a voice, especially in the entertainment world. Every time one of them gets killed or locked up, two more pop up to take the place. I wound up doing a movie. It was my first film. It was called The Trap. Thing, and I wound up doing the film. The Karma Effect is on Amazon Prime and Tubi TV right now. All my films consist of hundreds of Philly actors, hundreds of Philly musicians. I don't have to go to Hollywood. I don't have to go to Atlanta. I don't have to go to New York. I could pick and choose right here in the city of Philadelphia. So the gun violence is going on in the city. You're an advocate for that. I've been shot before, you know what I'm saying? My brother was shot and murdered, and I know so many gunshot victims. If I could do something that could just stop one person from pulling out a gun, putting this kid in acting class or helping him with his music or whatever, and not allowing him to be out on the streets with a gun in his hand, I'm doing my part to help my community. For the person that might be sitting in prison, they want that hope. Well, well What's it's, your message it's a them? saying that I got, and I said it while I served my whole 10 years in federal prison. I used to always say, even in darkness, light shines on all who believe. When I was in that, at my darkest time in prison, I was in there like, I'm going to do something. I wound up getting a book deal while incarcerated because I believed. You know what I'm saying? I could have gave up. I was surrounded by so many men who gave up, who was just in there doing their time. So I did 10 years in there, discovered my passion, and came out with a whole new agenda on life.